Hello everyone, welcome to Sushma's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you a green peas masala that is mutter masala. Uh, hope you will like it and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon and share my videos. Now for preparing the gravy, I have taken here in a pan 2 tablespoons of oil and I'm going to put some bay leaves. Two bay leaves, cinnamon sticks, and two cardamom. I'm taking here, cloves, cashews, and some peppercorns. Saute this slightly in the oil. And in this, I'm going to add one big size onion and uh, three green chilies. I'm adding in this. You can cut it a big pieces anyway because uh, we're going to grind all these together. We have to fry this uh, till the onion change the color. Now I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt in this. And one four teaspoon of turmeric and one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and fry the ginger garlic paste nicely for five uh, two minutes. Now in this, I'm going to add three medium-sized onions. So one uh, large tomato and adding three medium sized onions here and we need to cook this well for five minutes till the tomatoes become soft. We have to cover this and let it cook for uh, another two minutes. See now the tomatoes are and the onions and the tomatoes are mostly cooked. Now I can switch off the flame and uh, allow it to cool for another 10 minutes and after that you have to grind this to a smooth paste. Now for preparing the gravy uh, for the peas masala, uh, I have taken uh, 2 tablespoons of oil in a pan and I'm going to add uh, cumin seeds, 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds. And uh, half a teaspoon of garam masala powder, half a teaspoon of coriander powder, and one teaspoon of red chili powder, Kashmiri red chili, and uh, kasuri methi, the dry fenugreek. Fry these for uh, just a minute till you get the nice aroma of the spices and now add the ground onion and tomato paste cover this with a lid and let it cook for another two minutes now let us open this and in this I'm gonna add 2 tablespoon of uh, beaten curd and after you add the beaten curd you have to keep on with mixing it otherwise the curd will become curdled till the oil separates you have to cook this and in this goes the frozen peas I have taken here frozen peas if you have if you don't have frozen peas you can add the uh, other green peas and uh, you have to cook it cook that for uh, uh, 10 minutes in the water and you can add in this since I have frozen peas uh, it doesn't take too much time to cook I'm adding this I close the lid and cook it for another five minutes So now this is almost done the piece is also cooked and everything the gravy if you want to make it thick gravy you can add less water 
otherwise you can add uh, sufficient water how much ever you want now we will garnish with the coriander leaves and now the peas masala is ready to serve 